We are under the lights this evening. Striding forward now, the Mariners' cleanup hitter, Kevin Knight. And what a season he's having. Entering play, leading the league in two of the three triple crown categories. Guys having a monster year, leading in two of the three triple crown categories. Top five in RBIs. If he can improve on that, he has a legit shot to win the crown. And, fellows, these Astros entering play here tonight. They come in trying to bounce back from a loss last time out, but they've been in good form lately, 5-2 and two over their last seven. Yeah, Matty, I know they lost their last game, but you know as well as I do, in this sport, you have to have short-term memory. Well, the play's been made, and that retires the side. M's pick up a run on two... Next up for the Strohs, to Oscar good. Hernandez. So and as you take a look at the splits here, he's good. actually better against right-handed oh, pitching good. this season. Pulls this one in the air out to left. And the two-out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. Now in the box, Kevin Knight. Oh, He'll swing bad. it from the left so side left right here. Really that's doesn't good. matter what side the plate of this right. guy bats from. He hits very well. He hits right-handed pitching very well, oh, swinging left-handed, and swinging from the right side hey, against hey, 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 lefties. The numbers are quite the same. This guy flat out can hit from either side. Fouled away. Two oh, and one. Good luck, huh? Tried to crush that ball, and now perhaps needs to shorten up with two strikes. Calhoun, the runner at second with one away. Bounce towards the mound. And the off-balance throw gets him. Nice play for the out. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Kevin Cowboy. Knight. He got on top of one. It was a ground out victim last time. Yeah, right. Matty, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result that's his last at bat right no. here. The double play is in order. Anything on the ground, the way this defense is, they could certainly roll too. Count now a ball and a strike. Here you go. Let it fly right here. Here's the one and one delivery. Hey. A high fastball is in there. Take a step back right here. After three fastballs in a row, there is no chance he throws you a fourth. Look out. That one almost got away from him. Two and two now. It's a 5 1 game here in inning number five. And he fouls this one off. Come on, big guy. Get your pitch and let it rip. Let's go. Here's another 2-2. High in the air out to center field. Springer has a read on it. He's got it one away. George Springer the next to hit. One for two in the ball game thus far. George Springer. Hit sharply on the ground to the left. And that'll just sneak past his outstretched arm, a base hit. And they'll quickly get it in here to hold that runner at third base. Now at the plate, Kevin Come Knight. On. He flew out in his last at bat. Almost, Matty. Almost went Knight. deep his last A.B. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard, this A.B. 0-1, here it comes. And he drops a changeup right down Broadway for a called strike. Talk about challenging a guy. He offered up two in a row right down the chute, and the batter didn't even flinch. Got to wonder what he was looking for. To one and two now. Hey, you can do it. No one better. Let's go. To two right, balls and two, two strikes two. now. That's a good take on a fastball out of the zone. 
Hey, I get it. He's looking for a ball to drive, but that ball was a little bit too far up in the zone. That's one you normally pop right up. Started to go. They'll look for the appeal down to third. And... Striding in for Houston, Alex Bregman. Lifetime versus this arm. He brings a big batting average of 370. He also has one home run. A drive to left. Get out of here. Get out of here. Gone. They win it. Santa Maria. Several good offensive performances in this one, but none better than the one turned in by the guy you see right there. He's our top player Stand of the game. The line score tonight. First for the victorious Astros, eight runs, ten hit, one error. They left 14 men on base. MLB The Show's coverage. Stepping up now, Kevin Knight. Comes off an 0 for 4 in last night's ball game. Knight. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Fellas, taking a look at these Astros entering play here this afternoon. They've been playing some pretty good baseball of late as they've won six of their last eight games. Yeah, Maddie, this place is buzzing right now. This team won the opener of the series yesterday, and they're looking to step on this team's throat and take the first two games of this series. Hey, see you driving right back to the pitcher, huh, now? Lays off that time, and it's one and two. I love a well-executed changeup, especially one down in the zone. The only problem throwing it in that situation you leave that belt high or miss your spot just a hair and you could have some problems. Come on now, get your pitch up there. The one, two. Hey, get your pitch up there. That's a ball. I love these grinder at bats right here. Kind of a la Wade Boggs in the early 80s where he would just foul off strikes that he didn't want to hit and wait for that pitch he was certainly sitting on and drive it off the monster. Runners are at first and second with one away. And that one never threatened the zone. It's gone full now to three and two. So let's take a peek at the umpiring crew in this one. Behind the plate is Ricky Holiday. Yeah, Dan, we got Ricky Holiday behind the dish tonight. I can't figure his zone out. He doesn't favor the hitter or the pitcher and can be a little too inconsistent at times. Dero, you hit the nail right on the head. I think one of the things we're looking for, we're looking for a consistent zone. If it's a tight zone, it's a high zone. Have the same zone. His zone fluctuates a little bit too much for my liking during the course of a game. Springer is there, two gone. And no tag at second. He'll head back there with two away now. So coming to the plate, Kevin Knight, 0 for 1 for him here in this one. There you go, big guy, come on. Here comes the first pitch. And oh, that looked to catch him flush down near the foot or the ankle. Altuve for one. Relay throw, but it'll be too late as he's well safe at first. So striding forward now, Ramon Cordova. Here it comes, 0-2. On the ground to the left side. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. At the plate, Corey Lee. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Here's the 0-1 pitch. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Knight is under this one. Two gone. Digging in. Kevin Knight. 0 for 2 here. To start the afternoon. Now here's the pitch. Ball one. A 2-0 count to the Mariners' left fielder. 
it's a lot easier to hit when you're putting yourself in good hitters counts. This guy's done a great job not swinging at pitchers' pitches. And when he's getting the ball in the zone, he's getting the barrel to it. He's been hot lately. The count now at two and one. Stay through it. Let's go. Drive it. And there's a base hit on the line. Man, I watched Chipper Jones for years, one of the best switch hitters of all time. Work on his craft under the tunnel. It's into the box now. Kevin Knight, he singled his the last time up. This thing's far from over, even though we're moving into the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy, and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. 0-1 oh, count, and the pitch. And that finds the target. Nothing in two now. After two great pitches, he has a lot of options right now. He could bounce something or go elevated fastball. The 0-2 delivery. Maybe trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. Well, there's the classic 0-2 wasted fastball. Not even close to the zone. We'll see what he throws on the next pitch. The 1-2. High in the air out towards shallow right. Right fielder giving chase. He's there and records the first out. Now at the plate, Alex Bregman. He's working on a one for three thus far. The third baseman, Alex. The one and two pitch. And solid contact there as this ball is belted high in the air out to left. Into the Crawford boxes and gone. Well, he hit a homer last night, too, so it's up. So bases are loaded. Nowhere to put him with one away. And up next will be the left-handed power bat of Greg Bird. Now here's a fly ball. Well hit. Left fielder looking up at the track. The wall. Gone. It's a grand slam. And we've seen four round trippers from these guys so far. Dan, d -Row, what do you make of all this? Matty V, d -Row, I don't know what you think, but this is this is like crazy. Fourth round tripper of the game so far. Yeah, you're watching his pitcher. He's just... And he takes a big swing at that one as this one's lifted high in the air and deep out to left field. It's up and out of here into the archway. At the plate, Carlos Correa. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Knight will wait on it. And he will make the catch, so that'll do it. Stepping up to the plate, Kevin Knight. Starting things for his side in the ninth as they fit. The improbable odds of trying to come back in this one. Yeah, not a lot of hope for them at this point. These guys know these bats still count, at least for their own stats. You can't mill in your chances as a professional. Yanked high and deep down the line in right. And it's a foul ball. Hey, one time, right now. Now the one and one pitch. Takes a pitch for strike number two. One ball, two strikes to count. Popped him up. Lee moving to his left. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. This was just a nice win for these guys. They did most of their damage in that big second inning and did what they had to the rest of the way to secure this win. 57 minutes. Afternoon baseball. Riding in, Kevin Knight, and what a season he's having. Entering play, leading the league in two of the three triple crown categories. Yeah, and he's just off the league lead in the batting race. He's in the top five in that category, but he is out in front in home runs and ribbies, so we'll see if he can make a push for the triple crown. 
Fellas, taking a look at these Astros entering play here. And he gets around on one and hits it high and deep to straightaway right. And goodbye. This one ain't coming back. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. Home run number 57 thus far as the Mariners take a one to nothing lead. Well, if you're going to give up a towering blast to one of the best players in their lineup, it's better to do. Teoscar Hernandez digging in now. And as you take a look at the splits here, he's actually better against right-handed pitching this season. Hernandez. This is line to left. Knight is right there as he puts it away. No problem for the first down. George Springer the next to hit with 10 runs batted good. in on five hits That's in the series. Better. He's a guy to keep an eye on in this one. Springer. And this ball's pretty well struck high and deep to left field. Back on it is the left fielder at the track into the Crawford boxes and gone. Well, this guy's hot right now. Into the box, Kevin Knight. He went deep in his first at bat. We'll see what he's got in store for us here. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. And this is high, a ball and a strike. That was a tempting pitch to swing at right there. A big power guy like this really wants something that he can elevate and drive out of the ballpark. One and two now. Hit hard to the right side. Oh, and he has some trouble with it. A toss behind the back. Throw to first in time. One gone here in the fourth. Now at the plate, Corey Lee. The catcher, number 35. Corey. Lee. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Left fielder is on the move, and he tracks it down. Nice play for the first down. So two are gone for the Astros in the fifth, and that'll bring up the LSU product, Alex Bregman. Hot shot on the ground is short. Scooped up. And they are not going to get him at first. He's aboard easily. Now to the plate, Kevin Knight. He comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. First pitch of the at-bat. Good change up there to start him, but it drops a little low for ball one. So far this season, Knight is, get this, slugging over 700. That's a number almost unheard of, so if you can help it, don't miss any of his at-bats. Every ball club has that spark plug guy, and this is the guy right here. He usually ignites a lot of productive innings. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Back goes Springer, still going back. And a scaling attempt to the wall, but it'll be in vain because this ball is gone. So it's a two-run shot to right center, his second of the game, as that'll pull him even at four apiece. Second home run of the game right there. He is locked in at the plate. You hear so many of today's. To the plate now is the designated hitter, Marcus Semien. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Knight is right there as he tucks this one away to retire the side. Nothing. Ready to take now his hacks again. Left. Kevin Knight Kevin. as he'll look to follow up the two-run right. homer he launched over the wall last time up. It'll be interesting to see if they use that changeup in this at-bat. That last at-bat, that was a changeup he hit for a home run. I'm going to see if this time they don't go to more fastballs and curveballs. No balls and a strike to count. Comes set. The 0-1. I got a ball, one strike. Hey, you turn. Drive in right here. 
down. He took something off of it there. It's one and two. Weighing inside with that one, a pretty easy take there. Two out with the possible go-ahead run at first. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. Well, this has been a good at bat. He's now worked to count full to three and two. It allows the runner on first to be on the move with two away. And he'll hang in here as he reaches to foul this one away. Line drive, base hit. So now they'll have two men in scoring position following the two-out double. And this, of course, is a ballpark that yields a lot of doubles as we take a look at the team leaders for the most two base hits this year. So the Houston lineup turns over and to the plate, Jose Altuve. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one-for-four day. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Knight a range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the first down. Striding into the box, Kevin Knight, two home runs and a double to his credit thus far, having quite the game. And this one's not close, it's in the dirt for ball one. Swing and a miss out in front of a changeup. Called strike, and he's behind one, one and two. Two strike. Here it comes. High fly ball out to deep right field. And gone. An absolute bomb. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. And it's now a one-run ball game. Well, in hockey, they call it a hat trick. Hitting three home runs in one outing is a heck of a lot harder and a lot more rare. Well, they had to put in a couple of extra innings of work, but hey, listen, a win is a win, and any win is good, especially on the road. A one-run finish today.